Hey, welcome to my channel, Made by B. Jax. My name is Brittany Jackson, and today I will be showing you how to make this caged halter top. Here's a list of all the materials I used to make this project. To get started, I'm going to go ahead and make my slip knot. And I'll be making a size small today, so I will be chaining 13. However, I have the recommended chain lengths for each size posted here. Single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then all the way down your chain. Stop before you reach the last chain. Once you reach that very last chain, you'll be inserting three single crochet into that same chain space. Here's where your stitch marker comes in hand and I highly advise using it. Insert your stitch marker into the middle stitch of those three that you just made. Continue single crocheting along the opposite side of your foundation chain while also weaving in that tail. Check your work and make sure you have the same amount of stitches on opposite sides of your stitch marker. If both sides match, then you have completed row one. To get started on row two, you're going to do chain one, turn your work, and insert a single crochet into the very first stitch. Continue single crocheting all the way up until you reach your stitch marker. Once you reach your stitch marker, we're going to insert three single crochets into that same stitch. You're going to be doing this every single time that you encounter this stitch marker. Don't forget to put your stitch marker back into that center stitch. Continue single crocheting along the opposite side. That completes our second row, and you're basically going to be repeating this for every single row that you make. For this size small, I will be doing a total of 13 rows. If you are making another size, then I have the recommended row counts posted here for you.
All right, I have finished all 13 rows and to finish off my work, I just do another chain one and then a cut and pull my yarn through just to secure it off. Go ahead and make a second bra cup exactly like your first one. All right, I've made both bra cups and sometimes you're not really sure if they are the exact same. So a little trick um, to make sure they're the exact same is counting the stitches all along the side. Both of them should have the same exact stitch count. From here, we're going to start working on the body portion. So go ahead and turn your bra cups upside down, um, both the same direction. You're going to want the little tail off to the right. Grab your yarn and create a slip knot. and chain 10. I chain 10 for every single size that I make. This is just the portion that goes underneath your armpit. From here, we will be inserting our hook into the very last stitch that we made on one of our bra cups. And insert a single crochet. Single crochet all along the bottom of your bra cup while also weaving in that tail. I'll meet you towards the end of the bra cup. To give our bra cup a really smooth edge, you're going to insert a single crochet in that very last stitch on the side of your bra cup. Now to connect our bra cups, we're basically going to repeat exactly what we did by inserting our hook into the very last stitch we made on that other bra cup. The only difference is that we're going to do a slip stitch instead of a single crochet. Continue single crocheting all the way down and I will meet you at the end of this bra cup. Don't forget to put a single crochet in that very last stitch along the side. And this is what your work should look like. From here, chain 11. Turn your work over and insert a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. Continue single crocheting all the way down and I'm going to meet you right in the middle where the bra cups connect. We're going to be skipping over that slip stitch that we made um, to connect our bra cups. So I'll see you there.
I've reached the middle point and I'm about to skip right over that slip stitch we made and going straight into the next bra cup. Now keep single crocheting all along the bottom. Here I wanted to show you guys how I continue single crocheting whenever I reach the chain because it can be a little tricky. Um, I just take that top stitch and I'll single crochet into it. You'll have to have a little bit of patience trying to get your hook into there because we're working kind of like backwards on the chain. All right, once you have finished your first row of single crochet, this is what your work should look like. For our next row, you will chain three. Turn your work. and insert a double crochet into the third stitch. This creates our first double crochet chain space. Next, we're going to chain one and then you're going to skip the next stitch and double crochet into the stitch after that. Repeat this all the way down until you reach the end. Chain one, skip one, double crochet. For our next row, we're going to chain one, turn our work, and insert a single crochet on top of that last double crochet we made. Then we will single crochet into the chain space, and we're gonna repeat that all the way down, crocheting on top of every single double crochet and chain space all the way down. Once we reach that last chain space, we're gonna just put two single crochet in there just to square it off nicely. We're going to repeat what we did two rows ago. So we're gonna chain three, turn our work, and insert a double crochet into the third stitch, which should align with the double crochets from the previous rows. Chain one, skip one, and double crochet and you're gonna repeat that all the way down. So I'm going to finish this row of uh, double crochets and chain spaces, and then I'm gonna do another row of single crochet 
and then one more row of double crochet chain spaces. And then I'm gonna stop. I'm not gonna add that last single crochet row. And this is what it should look like when you reach that point. From here, we're going to start working on our side before we start the scalloped edging. So I'm going to chain one and insert two single crochet into that chain space. Then I'm going to insert a single crochet into that single crochet row. And I'm going to repeat that all the way down. So insert two single crochet into the chain space and then one single crochet on the single crochet row. All this really does is give our sides a little bit more strength whenever we put our laces through so that they don't break. From here, we're going to chain one, turn our work, and we're gonna skip that first stitch and slip stitch into the second stitch. And we're gonna slip stitch all the way down until we reach the end, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to do the scalloped edging. Once you've reached the end, we're going to chain one and insert a single crochet into our corner. Now to get started with our scalloped edging, we're gonna skip that chain space and then we're gonna put five double crochet into the next stitch, right on top of that double crochet stitch. Skip the next chain space and then we're going to put a slip stitch into the next stitch which should be the double crochet um, from the previous row and that's going to turn this into a fan. Now skip the next chain space and insert another five double crochet into the next stitch. We're basically going to only be working on top of the double crochet stitches and skipping every single chain space. I'll demonstrate this two more times for you guys just to get the hang of it, um, but you'll be repeating this all the way down. Right now I'm working on my very last fan stitch and I just wanted to show you guys how I close it off. So after I put my five double crochets, I'm going to insert my hook and put a slip stitch into the very end. And this is what your work should be looking like at this point.
Now we're going to be adding some single crochets along the end as well because we want it to be strong. So put two single crochet into that chain space and then one single crochet into the single crochet row just like you did on the other end. I'm just going to go ahead and cut my work here. I'm not going to add um, the slip stitches along this side. And this is how your top should be looking so far. I'm going to go ahead and weave in my tails off camera and I'll meet you guys um, back for the chest area. And I also wanted to show you guys how much yarn I have left. Um, this is just from my first skein. I still have a whole other skein to work with here. Um, so that's pretty crazy, making almost a whole bralette from just one skein of yarn. Here I am getting ready to start working on the chest piece. Now, you're gonna need stitch markers for this part. I'm just gonna reuse mine that I used at the tip of my bra cups. Um, we're going to be counting five from the bottom, but don't forget that there's a slip stitch in there. Um, it's kind of covering up one of those stitches. You're going to skip that slip stitch. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to put my stitch marker right there. And then skipping that slip stitch, I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five on the opposite end. You can double check your own work by counting from the top down um, so that you don't get the wrong number. You definitely want your stitch markers to be on the same exact stitch count. Insert your hook into the very tip of your right bra cup and grab your yarn and go ahead and pull it through. We're going to be just tying a knot right here. Now insert your hook again, pull your yarn through, and then chain three. Skip the next stitch, and then insert a double crochet into the stitch after that, kind of like what we did on the body. This creates our first double crochet chain space for the chest portion. So next we're going to chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next stitch. And you're gonna repeat that all the way down until you reach your stitch marker. Chain one, skip one, double crochet. Okay, I've just finished my last double crochet for this side. Um, this is what your work should be looking like. 
Next, I'm about to show you how to continue it along the other bra cup. So from here, we're going to chain one and prepare for a double crochet into the stitch where our stitch marker is at. So go ahead and remove that stitch marker and insert that double crochet. I wanted to make a quick mention that this is going to be the only row where we're connecting our bra cups with a chain one in between it. I'll demonstrate what I'm talking about on the next row. So from here, we're going to chain one, skip one, and then double crochet into the next stitch. And we're going to continue that all the way up until we reach the tip. And this is what your work should look like after you've made that first row of double crochet chain spaces for the chest netting. To get started on our second row, I'm going to chain three and turn my work. And I'm going to be working all along this until I reach this second to last double crochet stitch. So from here, I double crochet on top of that double crochet from the previous row. Chain one, skip that next chain space and double crochet on top of the double crochet from the previous row and repeat that all the way down. So basically we're going to be mirroring this on opposite sides. I'm going to insert a double crochet on top of that second to last double crochet stitch from the first row. And I'm not going to be chaining one this time. We're not chaining one anymore whenever we're re reaching the center. Now continue your pattern of chaining one, skipping one, and inserting a double crochet on top of the double crochet from the previous row. I will meet you when we get to the end of this row so I can show you how I square that off. So to square off our edge, I'm going to chain one and I'm just gonna insert a double crochet into the chain space. I'm not inserting it into any stitch in particular. So chain three again and turn your work. And we're gonna be repeating this for every row.
We're gonna be working along both sides until we reach the second to last double crochet from the previous row. I am currently working on my fourth row. Uh, some people like to stop here, but I like to do five rows because I like the halter to go all the way up to my neckline. So I'm gonna be doing a fifth row after this off camera. And this is what it looks like after five rows. So right here I'm going to secure off my yarn because I'm going to start inserting single crochets from this corner all the way up and over the netting. Then I'm going to make this strap and then I'm going to go along the top with single crochet, make the other strap, and then more single crochets along this side. This is just going to add some strength and support to the entire top. So here I am inserting my hook in the very far corner and just pulling the yarn through to tie a knot and inserting my hook again into the stitch beside it. Next I'm going to pull my yarn through. Now I'm chaining one. And then I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch and I'm also weaving in the tail as I'm doing that. Continue single crocheting all along the bra cut. Once you reach the netting, you're just going to place two single crochet into each double crochet chain space. Once you've reached the corner, from here you are going to chain 81. After you have chained 81, you are going to slip stitch into the second chain from the hook and continue to slip stitch all the way down the chain. Thank you. 
after you have made your last slip stitch on the chain, just go ahead and insert a single crochet into that chain space and then single crochet on top of that double crochet stitch and repeat that all along the top of the netting. Insert two single crochet into the last chain space. This is what your work should be looking like from here. Go ahead and repeat what you did for the other strap by chaining 81 and slip stitching all the way back down. After you have made your last slip stitch, go ahead and insert two single crochet into every double crochet chain space. Continue single crocheting down the left side of your bra cup until you reach the body. To secure off your work, you're going to insert a slip stitch and just pull your yarn through and then another slip stitch, cut your yarn and pull your yarn through again. I will be weaving this tail in along the body portion. And this is what our top looks like. All we have left to do is weave in that last tail and make a chain of 180 for our corset strap. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that real quick. So this concludes our tutorial for today. I have only ever made this top in this teal color and black and I really want to try to make multicolored versions of it. Um, if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give me a like and subscribe. This is my second tutorial ever so any feedback would be greatly appreciated. So thank you for watching. See you next time.